welcome to Akshata's recipes. Hope all of you are doing well. So today I have got with me some kairis or raw mangoes and these are the really baby ones you know which hardly have any seed in them also. So I'm going to make chepnye which is uh, basically mangoes in brine and it is really really delicious. It does take a little longer time than the regular uh, you know mango recipe but mango pickle recipe but this is really nice and it's, it doesn't have any masalas in it, it doesn't have any oil in it and it is super delicious. This goes best with some sorak rice, some fried fish, some dried uh, fish, uh, you know, masala, in masala, coated like uh, dry bombil, fried with some rechard and this at the side. Oh, it's sure, sure bliss. And uh, all these pickle recipes that I'm showing you, you know, we generally make it in the summer and then use it all the way, you know, in the monsoons also when fish is not that easily available and, you know, or you're really bored to go to the fish market and buy the fish. So this is like a substitute, these pickles, like prawn bal chow that I've uploaded recently and all these mango pickles. So today also is one of those uh, lovely pickle recipes with no oil and really delicious. So let's just jump straight ahead into today's recipe. the red chilies and the asafoetida or hing all done up together and nicely mixed up together and put this heavy weight the, so the small lid will press down on the mangoes and I've covered it with a muslin cloth and we're going to keep it in a nice dark place not in a cool place in a dark uh, place in the uh, you know anywhere in your house where it is going to be nice and cozy and dark keep it over there and now we're going to keep this for three days but every day after like you know 24 hours they're going to open it up they're going to sprinkle some more salt toss the mangoes a little bit and again you know cover it and keep it the same way so this is day one i'll see you on day two so guys today is day two and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, you know mix up the salt and the mangoes the chilies just with my hand once and then add a little salt if I feel that I need to add a little bit more of salt. And then again we're going to put the plate down on the mangoes, put the heavy weight, cover it with the cloth and again keep it for another 24 hours. And I'll show you that when I opened up the mangoes, you will find that the salt has become really thick. Like you know, when you go to the beach and the salt, the sand, which is much nearer to the water, it's thick. So when you pick it up, you know you can make a real, you know, holder in your hands. That's what the sand consistency. So we're nearing that particular stage where we want, uh, you know, the the pickle to be. And you will see that the mangoes also have really softened up. Some of them have even changed to a little bit of an olive green color. That's what we're looking for. We want it to go from the dark green to an olive green color. And the mangoes have to be really soft, 
uh, like you will see that will happen mostly on day 4 or day 5 and the salt will completely change into a brine or water and we are going to use that brine too. So I'll just show you what I do on day 3. lovely uh, pickle mango pickle and brine and today when you see you see that most of the mangoes have become an olive green color and the salt has completely changed its consistency if you hold it in your hand and press it you actually get water coming out of the salt so I'll show you that process and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix everything again really well again press it down with the plate and the heavy weights cover it a cloth and you know keep it aside in that place in my kitchen uh, and I guess by tomorrow we'll see that all the salt has changed into water and then we'll continue with the process. So let me show you what happens on day 4. Now one thing I forgot to mention uh, it to you all is that this pickle needs to be made in the summer. Of course raw mangoes are now available most of the time but you know from the month of March onwards you know this is when the heat really is at its peak till May you know you can make all these pickles and preserve them for the monsoons. What you require is a lot of heat so keep that in mind that if it's in rainy weather you know you won't get that consistency so it has to be really hot and you have to pro you know follow the process and maybe it will take four days maybe five days maybe six days depending upon the heat and the humidity i mean the heat in the area that you stay and uh, other things like you know the salt the uh, mangoes everything so that's what i wanted to just share with you so let's see what happens on day four Let's see what's happening with the mangoes.
going to taste this chip ne let's see how it looks and how it tastes so i'm going to take a small bit of the ripened one mm mm it's amazing it's nice and soft and it's got all the flavors of that hindo mm it's mind blowing this take me takes me back to my childhood and my grandma used to make this it's just amazing so have this with some dry fish some rice some sora and enjoy yourself so if you like today's recipe you know what to do give this video a big thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up icon give it a big like don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already go and check out all my other recipes mm. it's heaven anyway so i put a list of all my other recipes down in the description box below all the other goan recipes pickles in the comments section as well as the description section just go and click on them so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you soon in another video this is akshita signing off bye